In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to revise the night before an exam. Now, if you're watching this channel, you might notice I haven't been around for a few months because so I've been doing my A-levels, but I finished my last one today, so I'm going to be uploading a little bit more now. For the last few weeks, I've been revising for some big exams, my A-levels. I've had to pull one or two all-nighters. Now, all-nighter is pretty much where the day before the exam, you still got quite a lot of revision to do, or maybe there's a topic you're not quite sure on and you're quite anxious, so pretty much you can't sleep, so you stay up to like 3 a.m. revising. To be honest with you, I only really did this once, and I found out the method I did was actually really effective and it pretty much saved my exam. When I got home from college, I was pretty exhausted. I was like, there's no way I'm going to be ready for tomorrow. What am I going to do? And then I put in a tactic I'm going to show you in this video and it actually helped me to actually understand what I was talking about. And the one or two areas I wasn't quite sure on, I actually fully got. And then in the actual test, I got a massive essay question on a topic I didn't even know what to do the night before, but I managed to ingrain it into my head and I'm pretty sure I did quite well. On it. Before I get into the tactics that will probably save you your grade, I do just have to say you're in a bad position, you really shouldn't have done this, but I'm not going to waste your time saying you should revise the earlier stuff because you already know that I'm here to give you a solution. If you have done some revision for the exam you have tomorrow or whatever time you're watching this, that's good. Obviously the more revision you've done prior to watching this video, the better you're going to be. But obviously if you haven't done any revision or you've done very little revision, this video is for you. Now the typical advice you'll get the night before exam, you've probably had those assemblies in school or in college where they try and teach you about exam practice and what to do before exams, how to prepare for exams, how to make sure you don't have it break down and the advice they typically give you is pretty much go to bed early, don't do any revision, have very lazy back day, just be calm, be chill. Now this advice is good if you're actually doing revision and you're actually ready for the exam but if you're watching this video chances are you're pretty screwed for your exam tomorrow or whenever it is so that advice you need to throw it out the window that's not going to help you. You might think oh well if I get if I get an early night's sleep and then uh, I'll be ready for tomorrow that only works if you actually know the stuff. If you don't know the stuff, you need to learn the stuff. Now revising the night before the exam or the day before exam, this is going to be pretty intense, it's not going to be pleasant, your brain is going to be completely fried, but I have found that this is an effective method to do it. This is only effective if you do it once or twice. If you're doing this every single day, you're going to get burnt out and the advice they give you an assembly where you shouldn't go to bed late, you shouldn't do all night is because it's bad for your mental health and stuff. That is true, but I found that we're young. Half the people watching this video are probably up till 2 a.m. watching YouTube. So the only difference is instead of watching YouTube or watching Netflix or playing video games, you're revising. This can be done just do not abuse it because it will catch up on you and you will just end up just lagging in the test and you just forget everything. So before we can talk about the actual vision technique, the first thing we need to do, or you all need to do, is get rid of all distractions. The reason you're probably in this position is you sit down, you go to revise, and then you're scrolling on your phone, you're scrolling through TikTok, you've probably opened Snapchat 50,000 times and still realize that no one's messaged you and you've just wasted four hours just tapping on the app unconsciously over and over again. You need to get rid of your phone, you need to get rid of all distractions. If your parents were in your house, if your brothers, if your sisters were in the house, you need to go up to them now and tell them, look, I'm revising for the rest of the night, do not disrupt me, don't wish me good night, just let me get on with it. It. You might think it's not a big deal if they come into your room and say goodnight or if they just want to tell you something or maybe even just give you dinner. This will break your flow state which is what I'll get into later and you really just need to lock in. So get rid of your phone, get rid of all external distractions, no music, no food, maybe you want to have a caffeine drink, a Red Bull, that might help. You don't want to drink too much though because even though this is half all nighter but you do want to get some sleep but it's just not as much as you should have got but you put yourself in this position. Now that you've got rid of your phone, your phone, put your phone in a completely different room, like turn it fully off, put it in a completely different room. You need to just get rid of everything and you just need to focus for the next six, eight hours just on this test. All your vision has to be on this test. So get your revision material. Hopefully, if you're watching this video, you've made flashcards, you've made notes, maybe in lessons what you need to do. If you haven't done that, then just get a textbook. Pretty much what we're looking for here and able to revise for a test tomorrow as efficiently and as quickly as possible is you just want to have a revision source which pretty much has an overview of everything you need to know. Now what I found was that the night before the exam is when I'm most productive, is when I'm most efficient and the reason for this is because that's when you're most stressed. 
If you have an exam in two weeks time, you won't revise as efficiently and as fully as you could. But if your test is the next day, I feel like you do revise a lot more focus and I feel like you do absorb it a lot quicker because it's almost like fight or flight right if you don't learn it then you're screwed but if you do learn it then you're going to be great now the one thing you need to know is that if you've left it to the night before no matter how hard you try no matter how much you want to you will not remember everything in detail. It's just not gonna happen. If you've left it the night before, it's pretty much impossible to learn your revision notes in thorough detail for the exam. When I mean thorough detail, I mean like the A star answer. It's just, it's not gonna happen, I'm sorry. Unless you're like really, really smart and you're like an Oxford graduate or something, it's just not gonna happen. A mistake a lot of people make, and this is something my friends have made, something I've made myself, is they'll pretty much go down the gambling route where they'll learn, let's say, one or two topics really, really well in detail and hope that that topic comes up in the test. This is an awful strategy. Do not try this. What you need to do is, if it's a night before exam, you need to learn every single topic broadly. Broad is better than depth when it comes to exams. Yeah, fair enough, you might get a 60 marker on that one topic you revised really well and it's all great. But from my experience, every time I've missed out even just one topic, I always get a quite a lot of marks on that topic. What you'll normally find is, is your paper will either be loads of questions, so you get answered to pretty much everything, or very little questions, but there's so much they can ask you. So the probability that that topic you've learned in detail, or those few topics you've learned really well, are actually gonna come up and actually be a majority of your marks is very unlikely. Do not play the gambling game. We're going for broad over depth. You need to learn everything briefly and broadly. That is the plan. When it comes to actually revising and absorbing the content to make sure you actually remember it, you should already have your flashcards or whatever your revision material is. And pretty much you're just gonna work through it topic by topic. I personally find is that if it's one of those papers where you know each section what it's gonna be on, I find it better to work in chronological order. So for example, let's say I'm doing psychology. If I know that social influence is the first topic I'm gonna to know, I'll learn social influence before I learn, I don't know, psychopathology, which is the last topic. It's better to do it in chronological order. Now, one mentality trick, which I need to tell you, is that do not sit there and think, oh my god i've got so much to do that is the worst thing you can do you need to just think about it topic by topic because what will happen is you'll finish a topic and then you'll sit there and think oh i've got five more topics to do i'm never going to be able to make it you can make it it is possible you just need to focus and laser down and actually absorb it into your head what you don't want to do is is kind of have that give up oh it's too much mentality so it'll just completely throw you off you'll stop revising your daydream and it's just not going to work you need to think about topic by topic as soon as you finish a topic don't have a break you need to go straight on to the next topic finish a topic don't have a break you need to go straight on to the next topic the hardest part about revising is actually starting that first 20 to 30 minutes where you very first start revising is the most painful it's the part nobody likes but eventually you end up getting into what they call a flow state where you kind of like time just goes past and you're really revising and sometimes you even enjoy revising it and you start thinking in your head oh, I'm not actually that screwed I'm actually going to do well now many people do an all-nighter this is pretty much where they just revise and they don't sleep until after the exam. Personally, I don't think this works. After about six to eight, maybe 10 hours of just constant revision, you do end up just, you can't do any more. You're absolutely shattered. So for me, when I did, I think it was twice, I did, I call them half all nighters, where pretty much when it got to about one to 2 a.m., I, I went to bed and I woke up at 7 a.m. ready for my exam. What some people do is they go to bed early, maybe 11, 10, or maybe even 2 a.m., and they try and wake up earlier, maybe 5 a.m., and do a bit more revision. Personally, I don't think this works. Maybe you're a morning person and you get up early anyway. For me, it never worked. I always just hit the alarm and went back to bed, mainly because it's just you're on three hours of sleep, you don't want to get up, you don't want to revise. So personally, I think it's better to do all your revision the night before while you're in flow state so when you wake up you can just go and do your exam an argument a lot of people make is that when you get into the exam you're just absolutely shattered and you just you forget everything personally that's never happened to me before i've learned topics the night before the exam when i was absolutely shattered at 2 a.m i've woken up absolutely shattered and i've gone to the exam and i've been able to remember it i do 
do think a lot of times when teachers and parents say that they're thinking about themselves when you get older it's a lot more difficult to stay up till 3 a.m and wake up at 7 a.m because your body isn't as i know it gets fit and healthy but as a young kid if you do it once or twice you should be fine another thing is is that when it actually comes to revising the material don't do any exam papers, don't do any exam practice, it's way too late for that. Personally, I think there's three steps to getting a good grade. Making material, learning material, and then applying the material to exam questions. At this point, it's too late. It's a lot better to actually revise the material than to do exam questions. It's too late for that. Don't do exam questions. Just learn on revising the material. A lot of times, unless you're doing English literature or English language, a lot of the questions are very straightforward. It's literally just explain this, do this. You don't really need to know much about exam questions or adding little pieces in. Obviously, it's important. You should do it. But if this is the night before exam, completely scratch that. One exception to the rule is a bit exhaust question structure. So for example, if you're doing a 25 marker or a 20 marker in one of your subjects, just go over quickly how to actually structure it. So for example, maybe it's introduction, strength or weakness, conclusion, just something simple like that. But don't actually be looking at exam papers and trying to write down, it's too late for that. You just need to absorb and learn the material, learn essay plans, but don't do any exam practice. If you do a Think I say in this video if you get rid of all distractions if you focus if you focus on things that are central which is either from your textbook or your flashcards then you should do well and remember broad over depth it's better to learn all topics briefly than to learn one or two in detail because nine out of ten times the look will go against you depending on how smart you are you might get away with this or if you've left it way too late, you might not. This worked very well for me. I had done a lot of revision prior to this, but I got distracted on another paper, but it did end up clicking with, with me in the end. I think that was because of a mixture of stress and also because it's the next day and the focus, it has ended up clicking. This technique is only effective if you do it once or twice. I'd say absolute maximum once a week. If you do it any more than that, you're just gonna burn out and it's not gonna work. Click on this video now. Until next time, stay blessed.